Hey everyone, welcome back to Speak Healthy. Today we're going to uncover five awesome benefits when it comes to taking aspirin on a daily basis. Did you know that that little white pill sitting in your medicine cabinet could be a powerful ally in safeguarding your health? We're talking about aspirin. Yeah, the same humble over-the-counter aspirin you take to soothe your headaches. Regular low-dose aspirin might just be your secret weapon in the fight against heart disease, certain cancers, and even Alzheimer's. However, it's very important to remember that while aspirin has these potential benefits, it also has certain risks, including gastrointestinal bleeding, hemorrhagic stroke, and other bleeding complications. Aspirin therapy isn't right for everyone. Whether to start daily aspirin therapy is a decision to make in consultation with your healthcare provider who can weigh the potential benefits against the risk in your specific case. It's generally not recommended for healthy individuals without cardiovascular disease risk factors due to its potential side effects. Alrighty, buckle up as we delve into the fascinating world of aspirin and its surprising role in health and disease prevention. Benefit number one, prevention of cardiovascular events. Our heart and brain, just like any other organ in the body, need a consistent supply of oxygenated blood to function properly. This blood is delivered via a network of vessels that, if kept clear, ensure everything runs smoothly. However, when platelets, the tiny cell fragments in our blood that aid in clotting, stick together, they can form clots. If these clots block the blood vessels that lead to the heart or the brain, it can result in a heart attack or a stroke, respectively. This is where aspirin, a common medication found in many household medicine cabinets, steps into the limelight. Aspirin, also known as acetylic salicylic acid, has an antiplatelet effect. It prevents the platelets in your blood from sticking together and forming these dangerous clots. It accomplishes this by inhibiting the enzyme cyclooxygenase 1, or COX-1, which is involved in the production of substances called thromboxanes. Thromboxanes play a crucial role in the clotting process, so their suppression results in reduced platelet aggregation. Regular low-dose aspirin, often referred to as baby aspirin, typically 81 milligrams in the U.S., is frequently recommended for people who have already experienced a heart attack or stroke to prevent a second event. This is known as secondary prevention. Aspirin may also be prescribed for individuals at high risk of experiencing their first heart attack or stroke, known as primary prevention, although the appropriateness of aspirin for primary prevention is a topic of ongoing debate in the medical community. If you're learning something new from this video so far, please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below for similar content and future videos. Benefit number two, reduction of heart attack severity. In the event of a heart attack, every second counts. The quicker the blockage causing the attack can be minimized or removed, the less damage is likely to be inflicted on the heart. That's because a heart attack or a myocardial infarction occurs when one or more of the coronary arteries supplying blood to the heart becomes blocked, usually by a blood clot. The section of the heart muscle nourished by the blocked artery begins to die due to the lack of oxygen and nutrients, which can result in permanent damage to the heart or even death. Aspirin has an important role to play during these critical moments. Its antiplatelet action, which inhibits the formation of clots, can be a lifesaver during a heart attack. If taken promptly at the first signs of a heart attack, aspirin can help to limit the growth of the blood clot causing the blockage. This in turn can reduce the extent of the heart muscle that is starved of blood, thereby limiting the severity of the heart attack and the extent of the long-term damage to the heart. In fact, many health organizations recommend chewing an uncoated aspirin immediately if you suspect you're having a heart attack while you're waiting for emergency medical help to arrive. Chewing the aspirin ensures it is absorbed into the bloodstream more quickly than it would be if swallowed whole. However, always follow the advice of your health care provider or emergency medical services regarding the use of aspirin during a suspected heart attack. Benefit number three, staving off certain types of cancers. The potential role of aspirin in cancer prevention has been an area of growing interest for researchers. A growing body of evidence suggests that long-term use of aspirin could be associated with a lower risk of certain types of cancers, most notably colorectal cancer. Colorectal cancer is the third most common cancer worldwide, and the potential preventative effects of aspirin are particularly significant in this context. Some studies have suggested that regular aspirin use can reduce the risk of developing colorectal cancer by as much as 40% and may also be associated with a lower risk of death for those who develop this type of cancer. The mechanisms by which aspirin might help prevent cancer are not fully understood but are likely multifaceted. One possible explanation involves aspirin's anti-inflammatory properties. 
Chronic inflammation has been linked to certain types of cancer, and by reducing inflammation, aspirin might help protect against the formation and growth of cancerous cells. Another hypothesis revolves around aspirin's ability to inhibit cyclooxygenase enzymes. These enzymes are involved in the production of certain chemicals in the body known as prostaglandins, which can promote inflammation, cell growth, and angiogenesis, the formation of new blood vessels that cancerous tumors need to grow and spread. By inhibiting these enzymes, aspirin may help slow down the growth and spread of cancer cells. It's important to know that aspirin is not a substitute for established cancer prevention strategies like eating a healthy diet, maintaining a healthy weight, regular exercise, and participating in recommended cancer screening programs. These should continue to be the mainstay of cancer prevention. Before we continue, please click the link down below in the description for a powerful juice that will get you feeling younger and leaner within weeks. Communities with long-living men and women have been consuming these ingredients in this juice for generations to live longer and healthier lives. Benefit number four, prevention of Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is a progressive brain disorder that affects memory, thinking skills, and the ability to carry out simple tasks. It is the most common cause of dementia, a continuous decline in thinking, behavioral, and social skills that disrupts a person's ability to function independently. In the quest to find preventive measures and treatments for this devastating disease, aspirin has emerged as a topic of interest. Aspirin, with its anti-inflammatory and antiplatelet properties, has been studied for its potential role in preventing Alzheimer's disease. Chronic inflammation and small blood clots in the brain's blood vessels are two factors thought to contribute to the development and progression of Alzheimer's disease. By reducing inflammation and preventing the formation of small clots, aspirin could potentially slow the progression of this condition. Some observational studies have suggested that long-term use of aspirin might be associated with a slower rate of cognitive decline in people with Alzheimer's disease. Other studies have indicated that regular aspirin use might be associated with a reduced risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. Benefit number five, prevention of preeclampsia. Preeclampsia is a complex disorder that occurs in pregnant women, typically after the 20th week of pregnancy. It's characterized by high blood pressure and damage to other organ systems, most often the liver and kidneys. If left untreated, preeclampsia can lead to serious, even fatal complications for both mother and baby. One of the strategies used to prevent preeclampsia in high-risk women is the administration of low-dose aspirin. Starting from the late first trimester, aspirin is given daily to women who have been identified as having a high risk of developing preeclampsia. Aspirin, with its antiplatelet and anti-inflammatory effects, is thought to improve the function of the placenta, the organ that nourishes the baby in the womb. It does this by inhibiting the production of thromboxane, a substance that can constrict the blood vessels and promote clotting. The net effect is to improve blood flow to the placenta, reducing the risk of preeclampsia. Research has shown that low-dose aspirin can reduce the risk of preeclampsia by 10 to 20% in high-risk women. It's typically started between the 12th and 28th week of pregnancy, preferably before the 16th week, and continued until delivery. It's important to note that not all pregnant women are recommended to take aspirin. Only those considered to be at high risk of preeclampsia, such as those with a history of preeclampsia in a previous pregnancy, women carrying multiple babies, women with chronic high blood pressure, kidney disease or diabetes, and women who are obese are typically considered for this intervention. As you've learned, the humble aspirin with its antiplatelet and anti-inflammatory properties plays a significant role in various aspects of health beyond its traditional use for pain and fever. We hope you've had some eye-opening moments while watching this video as it helps you along your journey to better health. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Speak Healthy for more health-related content. See you soon!